Hey everyone, Zach Walters here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If it's your first time here, please like and subscribe the video and to the channel. It helps me out a ton, it means a lot to me. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the now well-known volcanic eruption that occurred underwater in portions of the South Pacific Ocean near Fiji and an island of Tonga. Uh, this happened last night and this morning uh, in that region, and it created aftershocks as well as tsunamis across the entire Pacific Ocean. Now, what do I mean by it happened yesterday and today, right? Well, a lot of times volcanoes will actually erupt multiple times before you get that big explosion and eruption that everybody sees at the movie show. Well, Friday was actually the big one in this case, right? It's actually had a couple of eruptions afterwards, but the big one happened Friday afternoon or evening local time there in the Southern Pacific. A lot of the satellite images that showed the explosion and then the aftershock uh, that goes along with it actually show the sun setting uh, shortly after. Uh, the volcano's name was, now bear with me on this one, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haipai. That's probably wrong and I apologize to locals there. Uh, that volcano erupted Friday uh, that sent a plume of ash and debris 12 miles into the air. 12 miles. That's incredibly tall, insane amount of ash went up into the atmosphere. There are no fatalities, thank goodness, from this eruption. Okay, so what you're looking at in front of you is the satellite imagery that was recorded as the eruption happened there in the Southern Pacific. You're looking at the, uh, obviously the explosion or eruption as they call it. Um, and then you're seeing that little ring kind of explode out the side in the 360 degree fashion, right? That's the aftershock, right? Look how quickly that just explodes away from where the eruption occurred. That is a very powerful aftershock. Uh, that aftershock actually was reported being heard and felt as far north and east as Alaska. Uh, that is a whopping distance. Um, I don't have the exact totals in front of you, but I'll, I'll, I'll get them to you. Um, that is a crazy amount of distance away from that region um, that the aftershock was heard. It was actually heard hours later. It wasn't something that was uh, you know, heard 15 minutes after the explosion. It was heard hours later. Uh, you, it kind of gave off a underwater nuke test feel. I know I saw a lot of comments on a video I posted on Facebook about like, oh my goodness, like a nuke test almost. Yeah, it kind of gave off that feel, didn't it? Like it was a bomb went off. Um, I compared it to an aftershock like Beirut. Uh, but that's kind of the vibe it gave off was a bomb going off. This was probably the most impressive non-bomb, I guess you could call it, uh, explosion I've seen with an aftershock, I think ever. Uh, and this was caused by a volcano. Another thing that happened after the volcano erupted that's not very common was it actually created a tsunami. Uh, tsunamis are usually generated by earthquakes, right? What happens is you get tectonic plates that shift together and they create like a almost like an aftershock themselves that shoots up towards uh, through the water and it creates a, um, a 360 degree wave almost right it travels up to 500 miles an hour uh, that's what you that's what a tsunami is it's very uncommon I should say that you get a tsunami created by an by a volcano eruption uh, and that's exactly what we had here uh, we had tsunami advisories up and down the west coast anywhere from California to include areas like San Diego all the way up through uh, Alaska right southern Alaska areas like uh, Juneau the, the state capital Vancouver uh, BC Canada uh, Washington Oregon that whole region the whole west coastline uh, was under those tsunami advisories now we do have reports that Hawaii did see uh, a tsunami, they did uh, have a tsunami hit. It was only about two feet high. We know that there were reports of uh, boats being lifted and, and pushed onto shore, um, but that was about the extent of the damage there. And then we also had tsunami reports up and down the west coast of the lower 48, also up in Alaska as well, but nothing uh, terribly serious, nothing like they saw in Tonga. Outside the US, there are tsunami warnings that are in effect, which is one step above advisory. Uh, those are in effect across areas like Japan. Now, by the time this video gets uploaded and you actually see it, could be days later for all I know, those warnings will likely expire. All in all, this was definitely one of the most impressive volcanic eruptions I've ever personally 
uh, covered or witnessed, not literally witnessed, but you know what I mean. Uh, the, the overall aftershock, the tsunamis, and not only the tsunamis nearby, but the tsunamis thousands of miles away uh, was quite impressive from this volcano. We'll definitely be monitoring it to make sure it doesn't do anything else in the future. We'll do any video updates uh, on the tsunamis or the volcano itself. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Zach Walters.